Hi there from uh, the back of an Uber on the way to the airport and I've been wanting to share this thinking for a while because it sits deep deep inside my heart. It's really about how society goes about making things normal and because of the constant marketing around them and because it's constantly what our friends tell us, it's what our parents did, it's how school and society and TV keep giving us the same message, we almost become totally normalized towards certain things. Let me give you some examples. Slavery 150 years ago was normal. Lots of people had slaves and it was just the thing to do back then. Women didn't have voting rights a hundred years ago in some places they still don't and that was normal. We had child labor 35 years ago it had to be legislated out of different places and it was normal. We had apartheid unfortunately in this country in South Africa 25 years ago which was deemed normal. Each one of these are disgusting at the very essence of them. They're about power, about evil, they're about exclusivity not inclusivity and as we wake up as human beings as we become more aware and more conscious we realize that this is ridiculous that we had this sort of exclusion because what we did was we dehumanized slaves we dehumanized women we dehumanized people of color and when you think about that it is ridiculous it pains me to think of that and to be honest with you, I myself was part of that society. I myself suffered from these things. And to realize that I suffered from them is such a daunting concept. But today we have two things that have become absolutely normal in society. And we defend them when people call them out. The first one is alcohol use. Alcohol use has become something that we all think is just normal. It's just the way it is because that's just the way it's always been. I was watching an interview with Malcolm Gladwell and Oprah and Malcolm Gladwell's latest book. He has shown you stats that over 90% of university and varsity rapes and woman abuse are based on alcohol. Home destructions based on alcohol. The amount of destruction that alcohol creates nobody talks about. It's about how much more money SAB can make, how much more money Perno can make, how much more money all these companies can make, but nobody talks about the destruction. And all they do is put a little thing at the bottom, drink responsibly. Bullshit. Drink responsibility. Stop giving the poison. It's not up to people to choose because when people are not educated, what do you think happens? In Soweto, a court costs 12 rand. It's priced at 12 rand to get people as drunk as possible for as cheap as possible. Many years ago, I had an agency called Future Collective and we got briefed by Old Brown Sherry to try and sell their product all year round, not just through winter. We went through a whole process of creating um, marinades using Old Brown Sherry, all sorts of different things so that it can be used in summer. Do you know what the company told us? They said, you know, no, 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 you've missed the brief. We want more people in townships drinking Old Brown Sherry as shooters between their courts so they could get more drunk quicker, so have more destruction. This is what business is about so that you can sell more product into more families to create more destruction. And so then I had another friend post something on Facebook, Sipiwe Moyo actually, about alcohol usage and groceries and the fact that Sipiwe is doing so well now and before was poor in the townships. And people were making comments underneath his Facebook status talking about how men have always got a bottle of whiskey at home but never bring groceries home for their family. How disgusting is that? People are caught up in the fact that they think it's okay to go about doing these things. It's okay to market the coolness of alcohol. At Varsities, alcohol is like number one sponsor of things. And so we might have a male toxicity problem, but we have an alcohol problem that brings about that male toxicity. And guess what? Those women wouldn't be put in those positions if they weren't drunk to go about after nine o'clock to be in dark places with guys that are going to be doing that. So if my issue is that society's made alcohol usage normal. It is not normal to be blind drunk, to be acting like a retard and going bleh all over the place, puking, making mistakes, creating pregnancies, getting STDs, getting AIDS, all of it based on alcohol. My second issue is that what we've done is we have created a normality 
around eating a burger, a Nando's chicken, a biltong, all of these, all of them, a bacon sandwich, all of them come with destruction and pain towards these animals. You see how these animals have got emotions. You see how these emo- animals are relationable. They are connected to their mothers. They're connected to their kids. They, they know that family circle. If you've ever had a dog, you'll understand the intelligence of these animals. Because we don't speak their language, we think it's okay for us to bully them, torture them, put them into slaughterhouses. And if you ever watch any videos about what goes on in slaughterhouses, you'll see they're screaming. There is panic in these animals that they're trying to get away from being killed. And everybody says, well, that's just always how it's been. No, it's not always how it's been. These factory farms are not how it's always been. They're creating mayhem. And if you understand, you're eating mayhem. You're putting tortured energy into your system. And you wonder why you're always anxious. You wonder why you're having a terrible time and you're always fear driven. You're eating fear. You're not eating anything else. It pains my heart to think what happens to animals. It's unfair what we do to them. And we just turn a blind eye to it. It's just not fair what we're doing to them. And I urge you, just minimize your meat eating. Minimize what you're doing to the animals. And every time you put anything like that into your mouth, think what happens behind that burger. It's not just a burger. It makes me so emotional. So that bacon sandwich, that Nando's burger you're eating, that burger you're eating, that steak that you're having, that burrowbos roll that you're having, it's got torture and mayhem inside it. You don't realize what is happening to it. Go watch some videos, educate yourself, and then you have people saving dogs and then eating tortured animals. How does that work? It's my life passion. It's just, we have to help people that don't have voices we have to help animals that don't have voices we have to stand up for them ignorance is not an excuse anymore we have to become conscious we have to become self-aware it's up to us to change what's going on around us it's up to us please think with your hearts not your taste buds think with destruction that's happening based on your memory of your taste buds that you make excuses to keep doing this alcohol and animal abuse has to end this is not normal society's created normality of it we celebrate these alcohol businesses that have done so well we buy shares in them behind them destruction and mayhem of families sorry for the rant this is really close to my heart ciao